circle K you should have spoken in this video. This is the only video you will ever need to watch when it comes to figuring out whether you want a diesel or you want an electric car like Mark has over there because this is a diesel and we're going coast to coast. So the premise is easy. Mark is filling his car over there too full. I'm going to fill this diesel car too full dreaming. And then we're going to drive to the west coast of Ireland <laughs> in one go. And uh, we're going to figure out which one is much more reasonable to do. I'm already full. Look, I'm an Emory in. That's it. 20 seconds. That's it, look. 21 quid, 12 litres to fill this car. No, it's 63 litres tank. You know you're all math it up. 63 litres from empty at 173.9 is what it would cost to fill my car from empty to full. Now we're going to find out how much it is to fill my car from empty to full. So you can get a standard ID7 after the grant for 56. This car has 7,000 euros worth of extras. Your car has 7,000 euros worth of extras. Just a little bit over, yeah. Now, my biggest expense, from what I can tell, is wheels. Right, which I think mine is okay. too, wheels, yeah. The wheels on yours are gorgeous. But this car has a, a heat pump fitted, mm. so it's not standard. Charging on the ID7, it's a kind of a piece of string question. We just got talking to a man, because Bob doesn't stop getting recognised, uh, who has a mate who's charging at a night rate for eight cent per kilowatt hour. Now, that's a window of about two hours at night time, so you're never going to fully charge a, a significant battery EV in that time. But if you're not doing the full capacity of the battery every day, which you're not, across a week, that means you could charge that car for six euro. Now I'm paying 29 cent a kilowatt hour at home, it's about 22 quid. If you were to charge on one of these ESB faster chargers, this is a 50 kilowatt, but the 150 one, it's gonna cost you about 52 euro. Versus Bob's, what did we say yours was for a full tank? It's over 100 quid, isn't it? But he will definitely get more kilometers for that 100 odd quid. Even if you multiplied it and go over by, let, let's say you multiply the charging by four to get a little bit more than the Audi, it's going to cost you 200 euro to charge it publicly. But to charge it at home, in my situation, might cost you 80 quid. So you're still, you're going to get more actually out of the ID7 then, and it'll still cost you less. But that's only if you charge at home. As soon as you charge in public, it gets a lot more expensive. Radar cruise control? No, I don't have that. I have cruise control. I have it. Not radar. Travel assist? No. Nope. Travel assist will basically stop start in motorway, stop start traffic, or town stop start traffic. It'll move the car for you, stop the car for you. Road sign changes, speed of the car changes. You literally can't get penalty points. No. Driving aids. I've got all kinds of driving aids. I have lane, so it, it bumps you when you go in the lane, and that's it. I don't have blind spot assist either. You have no blind spot? No blind spot. But it's a 70,000 euro Audi. I know. It's 10 grand more expensive than your car. I've got blind spot. Uh, have, you got a, have you got a reversing camera? I have a reversing camera, yes. Nice one, Audi. I have Apple CarPlay, but it only suits me wired, not wireless. Oh, I've got wireless. I don't have a wireless charger. I've got a wireless charger. You got massaging seats? No, I have lumber support. You got heated seats? Yes. You got heated seats in the back? No. I have heated seats in the back. <laughs> you don't have the leg room in the back of this car either. So if you're not convinced by now that I start out 10,000 euro in the rain and missing all the options that we just laid out here. I'm missing all of that. So your option extras are a black pack. That's 3,000 euro. Black pack? What's that? Oh, is it? Is that the bit around the grill? What's that? Three grand. How come I don't have greater kind of food control? Your that. wheels are two and a half thousand. I knew the wheels were because they are lovely enough. Your Valcona leather is 1,500. That's not worth it. The same. And your ambient lighting package is 400 euro. I'm not Grand total. On, I like Mercedes when I knew the ambient leather. That paint, which is a beautiful grenadine red is the name of it, is 1,600 quid. <laughs> now, nice and oh, nice and Glacier White Metallic is also extra. The prices of the, of the option extras aren't broken down on my car for some reason, but it's 7,235. 
much brake horsepower have you got? 204, I think. 286. No, it's a 60 yours. Why it's seven and a half seconds, I think. Uh, good question. Doesn't seem massively fast. Front wheel drive? Front wheel drive. No, quattro. No, no, quattro. No. no, it's not quattro, no. Rear wheel it's drive. It's not PSP, so you don't really, a proper ESP. You don't feel any rear thing, but it's very, very subtle inside. Fair enough. It sounds dumb and lazy as well. Very quiet coming. Not as quiet as that, though. No. Can't be, with no engine noise. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing trip of an day, I think. We're finally going to put them in. We're going to use them by electric or by an easel. And we're going to drive coast to coast to find it out. I'm sure there's something else I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's hard to explain 10 grand, isn't it? I do think that, I mean, the colour and the wheels of that car beautiful. If I was going to look out the window at the car and be happy looking at it, I'd rather it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. My car. The back of the ID7 has a bit of a weird overhang mm. thing. And it's very long and kind of it's very long. Very looking. It's a bit slightly awkward shape because it can be any shape when you're looking. So this is a prettier looking car. Supremely comfortable and really cool. And this is all great, but we have got to do 279 kilometers one way and 279 kilometers back. That's a little under 600 kilometers. The ID7 can supposedly do that. Correct. But it's March. And I, I can definitely do it. I don't think it's going to do it. 1,200 kilometer range of one time. So if you do have to stop to charge in the ID7 to get back to this point, how long will we have to charge for? However long it is, I won't have to charge. I don't really need muscle cutting. Time for a road trip. Yeah, let's go. Andy, uh, unfortunately nature has decided it needs to call and I'm going to stop at uh, Kinnegad Plaza and I'm just going to literally have a quick wee and then... Why are we on a charge point? Because I need a wee. You can't charge. What? But there's one there. No, 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 no. no like no, I can no. just... Five more minutes, more. splash, splash, splash in there and dash and... No, no. No charging. No but it... I just fuck. I've got 82% 352 kilometers, so I don't actually need to charge, but I mean you can always top up But never pass a charger when you're That's the problem. I can keep going all day long. Okay, well I better move then I'm not gonna block this. You sure now I can't have a I really need a really need a whiz. Right. That's not fair, but anyway. Right, so I'm now going for the ways that I need, but Mr. Flavin says I can't charge. Like, there's free charges. Free charges! Like, just. Are you trying to make this journey longer? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the other thing about this electric stuff. You, you don't give in to the temptation of buying stuff that you don't need. He bought nothing. He just bought nothing. I mean, he literally went in there and bought nothing. He did, however, use the toilet. I bought something. He did not. He used the toilet, sir. <laughs>
just briefly stopped to get a, a drone shot because there's a nice lake over there. So I have got 38%, 157 uh, kilometers range. And it's about 50, 50 kilometers left to the cliffs of Moher. Bob, what's your range? I have 1100 kilometers. <laughs> 1100 kilometers. Oh, right. We keep going, so. <laughs> and the weather is awful. Well, we have made it. I have got 118 kilometers left. And we made it to the Cliffs of Moher. In fact, we can't drive any further. <laughs> the gates are locked. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure if you're meant to come up this road. It's a no parking, it's a no driving. That's true. We're not actually parked, because we're with no, the cars. I'm with them, what a beautiful spot. Yeah. And it was just, it was worth the drive just for this shot of the cliffs from the drone. <laughs> Now the question is, what's your range? My range is 980 kilometers. So there's no way I'm making it back to Dublin. Uh, there are two chargers in Doolin. They're 3.7 kilowatt. Great, just what you want is tracking Doolin for eight or nine hours. I'd say more. Oh, yeah. it's a 77 Not kilowatt hour battery. Um, now, if we go to La Hinch, there is a 50 kilowatt and we can stop and eat there. Mm. I, we're not going to make that long, it's 140 kilometers away. Well, he's not going to make that long. I can just click home now and go home. Yeah, abandoned. Can, see, this is the only benefit that I might have, is that I don't need to stop and fly. The thing that we should point out is, obviously you have to stick to the speed limits. Yeah. We got here at the exact same time. Yeah, we did, yeah, there was no, no stopping, no nothing. The only thing is, as you say, you could now just See ya! <laughs> I can explore further as well, so I can go up and down all the roads here. Yeah, I'm getting a little... I'm not near, like I've got about 100 kilometres, but I am starting to just go, okay, where is the limit? You're thinking about it. You're this thinking is, about it. Yeah, you know, if you were with your family... Yeah. You know, I'll be thinking about it now. The wife and me on the edge... Are we going to make it, Dad? I have to say, though, the car drove itself pretty much, as I mentioned in the drive. Uh, I will talk to you on the way back to wherever we're going to try and charge. I, I would like to try and make Athlone, but I just don't think it's... It's over the edge. You'd be looking at... In the nursing it. Minus 30 kilometres, and I don't know if that's... In, like, all of that your cars will go beyond what they say they'll go beyond, but... Mm. I, risky, risky. I don't have a power bank for a car. If it's you did... Risky. It's strange to me in this position, because I know that this is a cheaper car, uh, cheaper fuel, but at the same time, the inconvenience level of it now mm. comes into play. Now you're thinking, I can be home, if I left now, I can be home maybe two or three hours before you leave here. It is also worth pointing out, it's cost about, if I charged at home, about 15 euro to do this trip. I haven't moved off full, so I'm not entirely sure how many <laughs> Are you really not? I've lost like half a bar. Like, it's, 
half a bar. No, come on. No. It's full. I'm still 960 kilometers range, and I'm still just move one bar off it, I think. So it's very hard to say that there's anything wrong with these. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we need to go and find a charger, eat, whiz, and go back to Dublin again. Yep. From the point. <laughs> we're expecting lots of support in this video because we're doing this to... Yeah, subscribe. Why at least. Why are we doing this again? I don't know. To torture ourselves. <laughs>this is possibly the most scenic charger in Ireland because when you turn the camera around this is the view so the hinch is just along here and this general area uh, and when I first rocked up I thought no there's another bloody car charging but actually uh, this kind MG owner is using the type 2 charger the 22 kilowatts so it's not affecting my car now we can get lunch charge and probably ideally not have to stop again back to dublin but this is a 50 kilowatt charger it's not going to fill this car meanwhile captain smug over here is just walking around filming everything going oh look i've still got 900 kilometers in my diesel look at him look at the big happy head in him Ready for action. Always ready for action. Anyway, I'm starving. A few moments later. Uh, Bob. Bit of a problem. <laughs> it's not charging. It starts to charge for about 30 seconds and then it goes red. No way. Oh, no. I'm not even messing. So it happened once and I thought maybe it's just a dodgy connection so I held on to the this and as you can see red that one's obviously that's obviously why they're plugged in there so you just you enjoyed doing that didn't you you just right I'm gonna try it once more okay card okay CCS Oh, it was just going too well. Thought we're going to have some nice lunch, charge the car, out we come, all will be fine. And you can hear it starting to do the handshake. There's the green light. Okay, it's starting to charge. Red. Oh, okay. Charging has finished. Disconnect your... It hasn't. Thank you for using our chargers. One eternity later. Fuck off, ESB. Please move. My finger is here. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Fuck! Not a charger anywhere now. 346 minutes later. <laughs> He actually thumped the machine. Now, I don't know if that had made any difference. But third, fourth, fifth time, lucky. It's now charging. 
Right. No, no, no. I am holding this up now. If I take my hand off that, <laughs> don't, don't you go red. No, way for it in Okay. Let's eat. Okay, so we've had a lovely lunch. We have. Lovely Long chowder. Uh, I can't remember the... What was the name of the place? I don't remember. Nice, though. Anyway. There's... I think Maxall have just started the chargers with roofs on them. The Cornerstone Bar. The Cornerstone Bar in Le Hinch. Worth a try. So we've had lunch. We were going to have lunch anyway, so yeah. it's not like we've stopped just to charge the car. We just happen to be able to do it at the same time. <laughs> After all that, we've gone from like 27 to 59, 259 kilometers. Bob, what is the distance to the Circle K we started from this morning? About 250 kilometers, 260 kilometers. <laughs> it's about, you're almost on the edge of it now. This is the reality, look, it's always in a petrol station, but diesel in it. You'd have a roof over you! Instead of rain. Oh, it's like sideways rain. It is true. So the dilemma is now, do we go, because we're not hanging around for the car, and we just stop somewhere else if we need to stop? I say go, it's up the road. Okay. We have enough to nearly make it. Yeah. Nearly. And you can only west of Ireland, one car for every 600 miles. Oh, yes. More have a look at this. I took a screen grab of how few and far between. This is like the third last charger between here and Kerry. And you've got to go back in towards Limerick anyway, because there's no bridge from yeah. that part of the country between Clare and the border with Cork and Kerry. And... Right. Find my diesel is ready to do 900. Look at this. Now. Look at this. Just, just. Okay, I'm wet enough. <laughs> and not in a good way. Rainbow. But there is a rainbow. Oh, Jeffrey! Wow! Oh, a double rainbow! Wow! We don't have a roof, but we have a rainbow. Who needs a roof when you've got a double rainbow? Jesus! One more thing to charge this. At this break was twenty-one euro plus per lunch. thirty cent. Plus lunch. We were going to eat anyway. Twenty-one. Uh, yeah, 21, and I put the guts of 76 kilowatt hours this morning in. That makes it a total of... Bing! That should be it now. We shouldn't need to charge again. Hopefully. I don't need to put more needs. Here's the problem I have. We're still on the back road somewhere between not quite Ennis, not quite Limerick, heading towards Gort. Okay, I've got 255 kilometers range. As you can probably hear, I've got the window cracked open a quarter of an inch, and I've got 240 kilometers to our destination. So I'm 15 kilometers over. But if we stop, or if I stop to charge, Bob has won, Diesel has won. If I risk it for a biscuit all the way back to the port in Dublin without stopping, that means the ID7 was able to do the same journey as the diesel in the exact same length of time. So, I'm gonna risk it. Watch this space. So we just hit the motorway after coming through all the macros of uh the whole west of Ireland and now we're out in the motorway and I just know that Nami is down to 100 km an hour. He doesn't want to come up now, he wants to stay where he is. Because he wants to make it back. And I can just go to 120 and I'll think about it. Mile after mile after mile. Just keep on going. He has to go slow. Uh, Diesel. Work harder, earn more money. You too, you sit here. 
Time for an update. It is 10 to 6. Uh, we have done quite a lot of driving today, just to give you the exact stats on that. Just clocked through 500 kilometers. We're driving six and a half hours. I've had my first warning about battery, so I'm on 17%, 72 kilometers, and the distance is 82. So the buffer I had at the start of the journey, a buffer of plus 20 kilometers, now it's minus 10. I've done 112 kilometers an hour. I could drop that down to 100, but I know Bob's gonna probably get there first. Unless we hit traffic on the M50 or there's some delay, I might catch him then, uh, so I, I don't want to slow down just yet because I don't want the gap to be too big and I want to prove that you can drive from La Hinch back to Dublin with just over 60% at pretty much motorways the whole way. There's a charger coming up in like 8 kilometers. I'm so tempted to get off and just not tell him until I get there. Uh, I also have the aircon off, but I have the have two bars of the heat seat on. What do I do? What do I do? Should I, should I pull off and just say nothing for a charge? Obviously. Howdy, a little while since I last spoke, about 40 minutes. I've got 11 kilometers to my destination. I've got 15 kilometers in the range. I've even turned the aircon back on. And I'm curious because I think Bob is only about five minutes, if even ahead of me. And for price of car and price of fuel, I, I'd take this off for that for the sake of five minutes. Now I have had the aircon off for a huge amount of my journey. I'm gonna be honest with you on that. And I've been feathering the throttle. I've turned off the cruise because the extremes and the car wants to speed up, it uses too much power. When you're using it by foot, uh, your own foot, I feel you just have better control over how much power you're using for acceleration. So there's a tip. Um, yeah, I, I've got 2% battery. <laughs> this thing cannot stop on the M50 in rush hour traffic. It is forbidden. Or the part tunnel. Anyway, home run, home stretch. Let's do this. This car is maybe tainted over. Look at that. Look at that red. <laughs> and my range is 640 kilometers. <laughs> there it is, folks. There it is. We're back where we started. Precisely back where I started. Final stop. That's our final range. Cover today, 558.4 kilometers. 640 kilometers range left at 5.9 liters per kilometers. Now it's time to fill up and find out how much liters we actually used. Come on, let's do this. Enterprise 173.9. Oh, 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 32.79 liters. All right, 32.79 liters. I'm gonna pay for that if we do some maths. Figure out exactly what that means. <laughs> Where is he? That's the question. 
Where is Bob Flavin? I can see his headlights. Here he is. Can you come lately? <laughs> he has arrived. Have a look. At that Ten rate. Kilometers. One. <laughs> One percent. Fair fuck stuff. It made it. It made it. And I didn't stop. I, I was very tempted at uh, Kinnegad to go, what if I just tell him when I get there? Now I did have the heated seats and everything off for eight, or, or the, yeah, and the climate, everything off for ages. Well, I had everything on and I've refilled my tank now. Big question is, how long are you here? I'm here about five minutes. Five? Five, five, five minutes. minutes. I told you, I told you to be on in five minutes. I'm here long enough to fill the tank of Beeson. Okay. Very interesting figures now. So he was 32.79 litres today. Okay, and... Uh, I can't tell you since we left here, but... Today I've done 583 kilometres. Yeah, I was the same, yeah. Seven hours, pretty much start. We left here at 10 o'clock this morning, it's, we're back here at seven tonight. I wouldn't mind the and drive every day. No. But it's certainly- No one would though. No. It's not a drive. You might take it on on a bad holiday. You know what I mean? The kids are very good. You do it in two weeks. You have- Yeah. You go on and put your stay somewhere and come back somewhere else. You go on a Friday, you, you come back on a Monday. Sunday night or something. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we have proven something very interesting. Number one, the electric car can loop. Yeah. And anyone who doubts that doesn't know what they're talking about. And here's, here's, a, here's a really strong argument. If the charger in Le Hinch was faster, mm. that car would have taken more charge and I would have driven here with the aircon on all the time. Yep. I wouldn't have to. Now, I did have to drop down at some points to sort of 95 kilometers an hour. I definitely didn't do 120 for a large charge, chunk of that journey. But that's because of the 50 kilowatt charger. Yep. So once again, it comes back to the network because yep. that car is capable of much faster charging. It's very expensive for what it is. Yeah. And it's very slow. 50, 50 kilowatt hours is not fast enough to fill a 77 kilowatt hour battery. No. Not not in the 45 minute window, which still has that overstay fee as well. I think they should look at the overstay fee for the 50 kilowatt chargers now. We're listening to lunch is kind of 45 minutes, you know, yeah, you're not an hour is a bit long. I think we but just about did it in 45 minutes. We were finished there in that 45 minutes zone. So, how much did you spend on, now bearing in mind, your I car was not empty to start with this yeah, morning. Yeah, I, I understood, I was like, filling this morning, so I just started four, right? Yeah. To fill the tank, when it cost about 110 euro. Okay. To refill the tank cost 57 euro. After all of the driving After today. After all the driving. So I used today 32.79 litre of diesel. Okay. Which equates to around about 5.9 or 6 litres per 100 kilometre. Right. So I, we need to use the calculators for the ID7. Mm. We'll put it up on the screen, but I put, I think it was 30, I, I need to check back the footage, I think it was about 33 kilowatt hours in the inch at whatever that is. And I put a... The, I was like 20 quid or 20 something. It was 22 say? euro or something. Yeah. But I put a lot more in before we left today. Mm -hmm. I put 70 plus kilowatt hours in. So uh, let's, let's call it even a ballpark of 100 and... Maybe five again. I need to work out the mass probably about 105 kilowatt hours at public service charging speed, and that is that amount. Yeah. But I still would have had to, even if I charged at home, even if I had a night rate, even if I had solar, I still would have had to just use the 22 quid today in the hinge, mm. and that means potentially if I charged at home. And I said this morning, I think it was about, was it 28 quid to charge in my house or something yeah. like that? Plus the 22 euro 30. You're not far off my number here. 57 for the day. Yeah. 
You get the flow, so you can maintain your own. But I've also saved money on the car. Yeah, oh yeah. I've no emissions coming out of my car. Mm. Uh, it's arguably an, a, a more relaxing car to drive because it has all the safety Until aids. Until that last 100 kilometres. Yeah. It's yeah. not relaxing anymore. No, it wasn't. I was cold. Uh, I had the heated seat on a little bit just to give a little bit of body heat, but my feet, I can't feel my toes. Mm. Uh, when we were not on the motorway, the window cracked open a little bit. You know you're annoying people on the motorway because they're overtaking you. Even coaches and trucks were overtaking you. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, uh, First, I'm rolling in here, like, wafting in. I had 680 kilometers range. Still that's going, incredible. That is, roll in here. And, and that's where those cars come into their own, because, yeah. yes, you, you won't often get the 1200, it says, but if you do that kind of driving, you will get quite close to it. Oh, yeah. That's what diesels are made for. I that one has been on and on and on and on for the rest of the night. I can do you could probably do that trip again, nearly. I can easily do it again, yeah, easily do it again. Uh, not easy for the human, yeah. but certainly easy for the car. My, my car started giving me warnings saying, you haven't taken a break in two hours. And then another half an hour later, it said, no, you really need to take a break now. Which is the argument of people saying, you're never going to do that journey without stopping. No. The other thing is, if I had my family in that car coming home, they would have moaned about it being cold. They would have moaned about it being slow, so we're taking longer to get home. Now, the other side of it is, I could have got off at Kinnegad again. And if I had done that, I think it'd be very similar on fuel costs. Yeah, you and I talked up and that. You are talking up again now. Yeah, I, to get home. So I've only got 1% now. after. You're doing it again now. Because you should be at 1% vacuum. Thank you, Lord. You don't have enough to finish your journey where you started. No. I did. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to put in another probably 22 quid into this while we're wrapping up this video. Mm. I had enough to keep going. So home. you spent what today? 50... I got 57 euros. I think I might have spent more. Yeah, you see, that's the scary bit. By the time see, I get home. The, the real answer has been the same answer I've given to the electric cars and starters. It depends. Yeah. It depends on where you charge it. It depends on how you drive it. And it depends on what you're charging from. Mm. So if you knew what we need to know, very long run, chances are, you're going to spend more today than I will. But on your every day commute, in and out, charge at home, not charging in a public network. <coughs> you don't give it a second thought. A thought yeah. or a move. Plus, there's highly likelihood that fuel, petrol and diesel is going to go up again in the next it quarter. It it's quite cheap now, 170, 170. They did say that e cars did say they were going to drop their prices because, in line with falling energy prices, they haven't. Mm. I don't know if they will. The conclusion in this test is most cars are insane in Kevin. If you buy a modern electric car, it's every bit as capable as it is. But yeah. we're afraid of it <laughs> The only thing, cost aside, the only thing that let the ID7 down today in terms of getting back here and my comfort was that charger in the hinge. The if charger, that was a 150 kilowatt charger, we wouldn't have been making a lot of the points. If that was a 150 kilowatt charger, that would have been full before we finished Newton. Yeah, possibly. Very Two close. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been probably nearly 90% instead of 60. There's some other frustrations. I stand in the rain, I'm playing it. Yeah. I'm miserable. Uh, only finding that one charger in the west of Ireland. We got very lucky today. We, every no charger we used, there was... There was someone there and we were smoothing. There was no yeah. other charger. We would have had the one in the limit. Possibly, yeah. Which would have pushed you outside. You know, the route was It was a different changed. route, yeah. yeah we were able to take there. the Galway Road. Yeah. Because of, um, which is a very good road. The so there, there's massive problems. The fourth car is trying to win. It's a hollow victory. For me, the Limit first, and even the cheaper, it's kind of hollow. Mm. Because that's the last of that car. Yeah. I don't think we're going to say any more two litre, long range Jesus for the country. Two's method now. Your car is 10 grand cheaper and far better than a trip than mine. Yeah, and it's kind of future proofs to yeah. a point. Although we saw an EGOF today, which is six years old, which, and we, which has said 
and I know someone who had, I know a few people have an EGOF, they said it'll still do 40 kilowatt charging and in the summertime they'll get 240 kilometres out of it, which is not bad. It's all right. But it shows you the jump in technology in six years. But there is, there is a depreciation in it as well. Yeah. If we have another jump in technology, your I need seven will look like an antique. It could. In a week. It could. I don't know. There's, like the, like the way it is, it look antique now. Yeah. Because of electric. And we've proven it today that these are not all back in now. Yeah. If yeah. we were just driving around the city here, you wouldn't use half of the fuel. We would have the one of it. We crossed the whole country and came back one time. Mm. Yeah. A lot of jeopardy, a lot of stress and stress. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But we had no stress in terms of charges today and we didn't have to wait around. We were able to charge when we had lunch and then we left again. Yep. So the two cars could do it in the exact, I mean, and I know you were five minutes. Before somebody says that I didn't have to stop for lunch, I would have had to stop for lunch somewhere. Yeah. I would have stopped for one of the petrol stations and had a supermax or a burger here or something. Instead, I had a nice seafood chowder. <laughs> Not seafood tomorrow. chowder? It was lovely. You know? Yeah. Better for you. Yeah. And it was a nice place to stop. It was a nice area to stop in. Now, it was also the only place you could stop. Yeah, you you kind of yeah, Doolin had two three pin plug yeah, yeah, yeah. charging speed options. The next stop was Kerry, but you had to go via Limerick. Obviously, I could have went to any hotel. Like um, my options for lunch were far wider yeah. than where you were. I did Perfect. think as well when we drove past the middle of nowhere today after lunch, it was a little Nemo garage, and I was like. If he needed to, he could pull in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a tractor holding up the road. There was another one spreading slurry. And I was like, useless to me, but yeah. he can still pull in there if he's stuck. There's no good answer. There's no way out of this. They're both kind of win in their own field. Yeah. And if you were staying in a hotel in Le Hinch or Clare in that ID7, you, you wouldn't have... More and more hotels, I believe, are going to get more and more yeah. charges. Yeah. We all saw that one recently that had 50 charges. So that would have been, again, I would have just arrived at my destination, plugged in, tomorrow come out to 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not always be full. You know, you don't always have to be full, especially on the half time. Yeah. What we need to know is extraordinary, but it proves a point. Electric cars do one. Yeah. They do. They're really, really, really new. And if if you were to charge last night a night rate with solar panels, you get cheaper. I don't cheaper. get any cheaper. No. It's, I it's cheaper. not going to get any cheaper. This is certainly K rain. I am totally, totally at my head in their prices. Yeah. I have a little bit more control if yeah. at, at home or whatever. You can move your electricity mill around. Now, not on the long run, it's still very expensive to charge on a charge point. And if you charge today and only charge point, you spend more money than money. Which flies in the face of those new signs that you're going to see in garages soon that have the 90% blended. With their ridiculous signs, yep. it's false advertising. They should actually, you know, let do it, but do it in, in the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not to see. Yeah. We're, we're not to see. We're giving it a factor. And it is, on a day like today, more expensive to run an electric car than it is to run a diesel car. But only today. Tomorrow, when you get up, and I'm in Port Louis, and I'm driving up to the hospital in Portland. I'm going to achieve it anyway. Thanks very much for watching. Um, let us know what you think. Would this convince you to maybe think about switching? Yeah, Are you a little you? bit less sceptical after seeing this video? He certainly knows me. And I'm a diehard petrol needle man. Oh, we know. But short range, I'm my electric. There you go. If he can be convinced. Do you need to say something about on the far side? Yeah. Whatever happens, look after yourself. <laughs> and until the next time, I'll see you on the far side. <laughs>